to the Doug Stewart Show, Woman Wednesday. Um, thank you so much for joining your boy. Really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm still a little taken aback by the whole thorny situation, but we are all right. I mean, we we professionals around here, man. Thank you for joining me on the show. Hey, one quick thing I meant to mention earlier. And it hadn't really... It hadn't really been talked about a lot, but there's a story out there from Chucky Brown. Y'all remember Chucky Brown played in the NBA for many, many, many years. Chucky Brown probably played on like 25 different NBA teams. But Chucky Brown tells this story um, where one particular year they were at some type of NBA uh, league meetings or whatever between owners and players, some type of negotiations or whatever. And, in effect, I'm just going to give you it in a nutshell. You need to go hear him tell it from his words. And you can go to, like, TMZ. Just just Google Chucky Brown and Charles Oakley. Chucky Brown tells a story. And I'm just going to give you it in a nutshell. And you need to just hear the, the, the good thing about it. I'm telling you, I'm going to tell you what's going to happen, so don't get mad at me about that. I'm going to tell you what, what happened. But you need to hear it from his words. Chucky Brown tells this story about being in the hallway, seeing Charles Oakley walk down the hall, walk straight up to Charles Barkley, say to Charles Barkley, quote, unquote, what was that shit you were talking? And Charles Oakley slapped the taste out of Charles Barkley's mouth. The taste. Like any taste he had in his mouth, it was slapped out. <laughs> yeah. And, and, and Barkley's reaction will, will, will really shock you. Like, like you need to hear this. Go to TMZ or you can just Google probably Chucky Brown, Charles Barkley, and Charles Oakley. But I've talked about it for many, many times. Like when we were working with the radio station and, you know, athletes used to come in and out of there. Like basketball players said that Oakley routinely, routinely, you know, slapped the taste out of dudes' mouths. Like that was his thing. His trademark was to slap you, was to open hand slap your ass. And like most of the time the stories were that nobody ever did anything in return. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so you need to, you need to hear the actual audio. He's actually telling the story like he's doing an interview, I think, and he's telling the story. But but when he's telling the story, it just really he paints a picture, man. And like all of the things that you've ever heard about Charles Oakley are confirmed. And it's crazy why, you know, we've heard like rumblings, but I don't think there's anybody on record like this guy is on record. He actually witnessed it. Like, you know, this no, not, uh, isn't an urban legend or anything like that. Like, I was there. Like, he said, I'm like, yeah, I was like 10 feet away. And I watched the whole thing transpire from beginning to end. When Oakley walked down the hall, he came into the room, he walked down the hall, walked straight up to Charles Barkley, and slapped the taste out of his mouth. <laughs> Crazy. Crazy, crazy. Let me read some messages in the chat room on uh, Spreaker.com. <laughs> From RC in the chat room on Spreaker.com. Tyrone Hill. Yeah, I've heard about him slapping Tyrone Hill, too. I've heard about that. I can't remember who told that story. Uh, Ron Artest and many others got that five fingers to the face. <laughs> Uh, what did the five fingers say to the face from Smoker Bella? Sin, you not playing this week? Uh, she's talking about DraftKings, I guess. Uh, I'm, I'm playing the DraftKings. I, I think I got my team. I hadn't set her up yet. Uh, one of the Stewies set up a DraftKings league. I think Truck D or maybe 334 Bama Boy. I got to be honest with you, man. I'm playing to participate and uh, support my Stewies. But it's really tough to pick games this time of the year. Because you, you're limited. You only got, what, you got eight teams playing. Two, four, yeah, you got eight teams playing. So there's going to be a lot of people that got the same players. Like, I think everybody in their mama going to pick Aaron Rodgers. 
Are you better? Are you better? From Thorny Switch. Oh, Thorny's back in the chat room after that episode that we had a couple minutes ago. I am too. I was very disappointed in your behavior, Doug. Whatever, man. Thorny. You better than that. See, I expect a lot more from you, Thorny. I always, you know, I got Thorny, man, up there high in esteem. You know, you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. Let me grab a call. Caller, thanks for calling the show. What's your name? Where you calling from? What you want to talk about? Doug Stewart, what it do? John Fisher in the building, baby. John Fisher in the building. What up, baby? What's going on, man? Man, I'm good. How you doing, brother? I'm all right, man. I just had to let you know I got some, uh, some terrible news. Um, I'm not going to be able to hang out with you in public anymore. You make me feel like Kane and Medicine Society <laughs> going to the store for a beer. And leave out accessories to robbery and murder. <laughs> hey, bro, man. Listen, man. You know me. I mean, I, I actually love the ladies. I gave the ladies their own day. We call it Woman Wednesday, which is actually the day. But, but, but Thorny be forcing my hand, bro. She be forcing my hand. Uh, you get so mad, but you just kind of act like, uh, like Puff Daddy in the club and shot the fuck up. <laughs> and I feel like I'm shot and end up doing the jail time for you, right? <laughs> Hey, I tell you what, man. I'm I'm going to talk to Thorny off air. We're going to try to work this thing out again. That's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try to work it out again and get her back on next week. All right, bro. Use the safety, man. Safety, Doug. Yeah, yeah. Use the safety. And I'm gone, bro. Hey, appreciate the call. That's my man, John Fisher. Patty cake, patty cake, microwave. It's very disappointing to me too. Very disappointing. Uh, from Thorny Switch in the chat room still. Oh, she's still going on and on and on. Ty is bringing a tape measure to the TDSS3. This is going to be hilarious. You know Ty will be there. Why is, why, is, what, what are you saying? Bringing a tape measure for what? Are you saying to measure my height, Thorny? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> wow. I had you pegged a whole lot better than this, Thorny. From rough buff, Thorny infiltrated the Carter but got made look like Pookie in New Jack City. And I didn't want to do that. I mean, I don't want y'all to think that this whole thing was, uh, you know, just a, a bit or whatever for the show, man. That's two weeks in a row. I had great intentions of having Thorny on the show. And it ended up in uh, a on-air radio body. And you're listening to the Doug Stewart Show. From not from a D Bell. Now we got to go another week with tension between Thorny and Doug. Can't we? Can't we all just get along? But it was funny as hell. I don't, I don't listen. I'm not trying to get laughs on anybody. The reason why I have Thorny on, and maybe we can switch it up and have some of the other, you know, Stewie, uh, Stewettes on. And but Thorny, I know Thorny. You know, she likes sports. She's. Um, Great personality. I thought it would be good to have her on on Wednesday. We actually call it. She has her own segment, Thorny, uh, what Thorny's thinking. And for her to do something like that two weeks in a row, forcing my hand, make me put some radio bullets in her ass, is not cool. It's not cool. Let's get the hell out of here. When Tupac was around, he wanted to raise the nation of thugs. Let's get the well, hell out of here. I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of bruh. Tell him, Gator. Frank Cole. Ernest Jess. Oscar Cooper. All right. So All right. So, once again, you got the Packers on the road taking on the Dallas Cowboys. You know what the storylines are that. Tomorrow. Well, not tomorrow, Friday. We'll definitely delve into these games a lot more. little tease of the day, man. Tomorrow's a throwback Thursday if you're new to the show. Where we throw it back to a particular year. Somebody made a point last week. We're running out of years. <laughs> yes, sir. Tell them. Skito, that's my line name. Yeah. Hazardous, that's my line name. I tell you what, we'll be back tomorrow 
do it all over again. Shouts out to my man Poe Politicking, Waterhead Walter, Brandon Butler, Larry the Benefactor. Mad and Larry ass right now. But that's all right. And uh, shouts out to my man Pink Gator for this track. Shouts out to all of the cues out there. Uh, hey, hey, hey. A special thank you to all of the stewards. Without you, there would be no me. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah. All right. So we'll do it again tomorrow, same Doug Stewart time, same Doug Stewart channel, which is at 9 a.m. Eastern time right here on the Stewart Media and Entertainment Network. Y'all be careful out there. See you tomorrow. Peace. But uh, I think it's only right for me to raise a nation of brothers. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the cue, I know we make you wanna. Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper. Edgar Love, four founders, sons of blood and thunder. I'm wrecking for the Q, I know it make you wanna. I'm always in the Q, but you ain't know. I'm resolute to the boot, she don't give me though. In that pack over there, that my dog team. Before I came out the womb, I had purple dreams. Skip toe, that my line name. Yeah, my chain gang, chain gang. From my yard, my yard. To any yard, any I yard. put that on my life. The cues going hard. A whole nation full of bros, full of bros. Do your duty, do that. Lift it up, lift this it up. Ain't about yourself, no. Ain't about your kids, no. Jail as a unit, yeah. And we gon' run the ship. Uh. The greatest threat on the planet Earth. Planet but make no mistake, God, I put you first. See, I know my place, know my place. and I stand my ground. Stand my cues in the sky, we gon' hold it down. <laughs> Frank Cole, Ernest Jess, Oscar Cooper, Edgar Love.